So today, we're going to be interviewing Lloyd Bumstead, who's the fourth Bumstead to own uh, Bumstead's Bikes uh, since 1909. And uh, Lloyd's been doing it for a long time. And, and what we want to talk about today with Lloyd is the gas price problem and the effect on purchases of bicycles, which were already very high because of COVID. Lloyd, uh, you went crazy last year with the COVID. Yes, during, during the first initial lockdown in 2020 of COVID, we sold every bike in the store. The, the store was literally empty of bicycles. We had a line out the door. Um, we've since restocked a lot of those bikes, but bike shortages have been part of our industry now for the past two years. But demand is, has stayed very, very high. Now with gas prices, people walking through the store, if they bought a bike during that time period, now they're maybe they put it away for a while. It's been winter. <clears throat> they're now, hey, I need to get that bike tuned up, get the tires aired up. You know, these gas prices are killing me. Uh, so most people's comment is, hey, if I can just run to the store, anytime I can figure out a way to not turn on the, my vehicle, it's going to save me a couple dollars. So we're selling lots of baskets, racks, bags to carry things. Um, unfortunately, in Southern California, a lot of people live 20, 30 miles. That's pretty long haul on a traditional pedal bike. Uh, but there's other gaps to that. There's public transportation. There's you're saying Metro 20, Link. You're saying they so, live. 20, you're saying they live 20 or 30 miles from work. Yes. Which is a, which is a kind of a long, a long. That's a long ride. bike ride. Too, yeah. you know. It's doable. And yeah. over the years, I've had customers do it. Now, if they live less than 10 miles. They should be looking into riding a bike to work. It's it's a doable thing for even just an average bike rider. You don't have to be a quote professional or hardcore rider to um, ride ten miles. Right. Um, and it, you can do it in a, in an easy time frame too. Does, will it take you an extra half hour over driving your car? You know, do you have to assign a little bit of time to do it? Yes. But if that saves you a tank of gas a week. That, that's a bunch of money now. <laughs> Some, sometimes during rush hour, I see the bicycles passing me. Yes, I have found over. <laughs> yes, if, if you have stoplights, if you're not taking the freeway, if it's stoplight to stoplight, a bike can get there just as fast as a car. If, if it's traffic, yes, the bike can get you there just as fast, um, save you some money. Um, it can be that last mile gap. It gets you to the train, gets you to the maybe to the bus stop. All the buses now around here have bike racks on them. So it, it's looking for alternatives to being in your car. Um, and even if it's just a run to the local 7-Eleven or to the grocery store, or to the post office, those things where you just don't think about it, you jump in your car. Now you can just jump on your bicycle and make those little trips around the neighborhood that you normally would have just jumped in your car. It, it can save you money and hopefully you'll fall in love with riding your bike again. <laughs> now, this is pure speculation, but uh, I know people have, there's a lot of pent up demand for taking uh, trips, uh, you know, going on vacation this uh, late spring or, or during the summer. Uh, people may are flying again. They're maybe thinking you're taking a long trip, but if, if gas prices stay, at you know six or seven dollars in california five dollars four dollars uh, across the country i'm just speculating that people are going to stay close to home again which whether they travel or whether they a far distance or not bicycles are a great part of especially the local uh stay staycation uh business so um last time i checked with you you were kind of low on mountain bikes I, I would think people need to get in and talk to you about a mountain bike now if there are any off-road bike gravel bikes is that right yes any of the off-road bikes have been in short supply for the past two years obviously we have bikes coming in but a lot of times i you're right i'll have them sold before they ever get here 
I have an extensive back order list and we sell off of that a lot of times. So the bike never hits the floor. We do have bikes on the floor, so it's not that bad, but a particular model color size, you know, the customer might want to get in early, even before they're thinking, put a deposit down to reserve that bike. If they, you know, if it's not here in the store, that's, and you'll find that at most shops across the country that yes, they have inventory, but not everything is in stock. So right. definitely. Yeah, and, it's, and it's early in the season. Uh, yeah. as, this is, I, I've been in the bicycle industry actually longer than you believe that <laughs> i know <laughs> i've been the bicycle sorry industry. randy you're, you're getting up in age aren't you <laughs> i've been, been in the bicycle industry since 1970 and wow. uh and i know that uh i've always thought march 15th is the first day of the bike bike season and we're yes. having this conversation on march 16th and uh so by the middle of april that small inventory you have now and even some of the ones you have in the way could easily be sold out it doesn't take easily much. be sold and kind of the stay vacation thing that's we've seen that the past couple of years also where people couldn't fly and you know it was hard if they didn't own a motor home they couldn't rent one that, for all the reasons they couldn't go on the big vacations um the local vacations at least depends on your area you can you know maybe drive 50, 100 miles, like here, it's 50 miles to the beach from where I live. And we found a lot of our customers were doing that. They would spend the day at the beach riding their bikes. They could drive up to the local mountains and ride around up in the local mountain areas, even not mountain biking, but just local touristy type areas from here in Southern California and use the bike as the fun aspect of that and it'd be very inexpensive and not have to cost as much as the bigger vacations. So yes, bikes can be a great part of, of that because of gas prices and not going on that big vacation. Bikes are a fun part of any vacation. Yeah, and uh, just a reminder to, uh, to the, the folks that might be watching, you are primarily a Trek dealer. Yes. Um, and carry a full range of treks, but specialize in the under a thousand and under two thousand dollar categories. You, you you can get yes. any trek bike, but those are your 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 clients That's, tend to be in the yes. in that category. And uh, what other brands would uh, would uh, people be looking for that are that are well known? Well known. Another brand would be Electra Bicycles which they do the townies and the cruisers and the, definitely the recreational style where the trek or more the commuter, the mountain bike, the road bike. So the, the Electra brand is definitely on that beach cruiser kind of a aspect. Again, then uh, I carry electric bikes from Aventon. Um, I carry kids bikes. SE bikes are, are huge here in Southern California and other parts of the country. They're, they have what I call the big BMX bikes, 26 and 29 inch wheel um, bikes that, you know, just single speed. Um, but I'm selling those across the board, especially 40 to 50 year old males and teenagers. Teenage, teenagers are riding them, doing a lot of big group rides. Same thing, they'll, they'll all agree to meet in Santa Monica and ride up and down the strand there or in Huntington Beach or even local you'll get 20 or 30 of them meeting in riverside and riding around riverside or here in ontario or wherever they'll pick a route and do a ride so the se is also very popular besides the traditional bikes like trek good well lloyd uh, again thanks for the interview um good luck with uh with your business uh during the upcoming spring and summer and uh we just want folks to get out there and ride for their health uh, to save uh, the, the uh, climate and uh, to lower their gas bill. Exactly. All of the above. <laughs> Thanks, Randy. Uh -huh. Thank you.